I'm Richie Lewis reporting for Calibred.org and I'm here with Kuja from Millennium, not had the best of times at Intel Extreme Masters. Okay, first question, just before we get really into it, you've lost all of your games in the group stages. Yeah. Are you still happy to be here or are you a little bit sad? Uh, I'm a bit sad, mostly because uh, three of those games were won. Uh, people who were on the stream uh, can see it and will know it. We had the games versus Fnatic, versus CLG and versus um, Alternate. But we throw them away, uh, people were really not into the game. Uh, that was the first event for all my mates, they never went to land, so that was really rough for them to start here at IEM um, on such a big stage with all the, those people, so they were kind of stressed. And also they wanted all to do like uh, a move to be known like, oh yeah, he did that pentakill, wow, I remember that dude. So they were trying to do too much instead of just playing safe and winning. Because wow. online we won uh, good teams and so we were really ready, but uh, online, uh, offline changed everything. Well, can you specifically point out some of the mistakes? Can you give me an example of, of what you thought, think the big turning points were in your games? Oh, I can pick a little example because I don't want to blame any one of my mates. But for example, first game versus Fnatic, we have the upper hand. Um, our Galio teleport bot lane and just went to chase the Nunu where, when there is a free Ash to kill. And then we all die because we want to finish the Nunu. Yeah. So instead of having one kill for us, there is three kill for them. Yeah. Uh, on a game when we have Zig, we should have just poked them, out poke them, poke, poke, poke. They had Janna, I think, or no, Leona. So they ha ha had no heal. So we just had to poke, 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 and they couldn't defend. Yeah. And we rushed into them. Uh, even with that, we could finish the game, but one player didn't listen and went suicide, so we couldn't finish the game because there was just the Nexus and two tower, so that was win. Do you feel perhaps uh, responsible because uh, the way it was told to me prior to the interview, and correct me if I'm wrong, um, this is your team. I mean, this is a team you put together. You're yeah. the figurehead. Do you feel perhaps uh, more upset that it's not worked? Uh, no, I told them that offline would be totally different since I went to all these events during one year nearly. And I told them it will be different, don't think it will be like at home, behind your computer, playing versus a big team like, oh yeah, I'm chilling at home. No, no, you will have a big noise around you, you won't be able to concentrate, uh, concentrate uh, really well. So it's just a different world uh, and uh, they maybe did not listen enough to me. Well, uh, I got asked now about, you know what I'm going to say, AAA, you used to play with those guys, uh, you kind of left to make this team, they've uh, now made it to uh, the semi-finals, uh, I think it is where they're going to play Team Dignitas, are you looking at them thinking a little bit jealous perhaps or uh, upset that you didn't stick with them or I'm upset but not because they are there I'm upset because uh, my team could have make it uh, out of the group uh, and maybe well not say semi-final but at least quarter that was nice for a new team because the jungler we took the jungler one week ago and the AP mid one month ago so when you see all those teams who are for together for such a long time that's bad but for them I'm really happy I hope they will go to final versus Moscow 5 and that we will have uh, pretty games because that's what I'm waiting now. I want to see cool games. <laughs> so no hard feelings between you and the former teammates? They used to be but it's water under a bridge now. We all spoke, had fun so... That's good. Um, here's the thing then, now you're in this perfect position to just relax, watch the games. Who do you think is going to win and why? Moscow 5 will try to put their games with invades, try to shake AAA, because I, I really think that will be the final. Yeah. We will see it uh, tomorrow, but uh, I really think that m might be the final, even if Dignitas is really nice. and uh, They're very CLG, confident CLG as well. He uh, really came back into the game, so we will see. But uh, mo the surprise will come mostly for Moscow 5, who are trying really to change the game, putting, uh, uh, putting all this uh, aggression that we saw versus the Chinese team, putting the misfortune top, the Janna that was uh, roaming in the jungle with the Shivana, they, they are really changing the things, strutting, doing new things, where when you see SK versus AA, it's more classic, even if they invade now, it's more classic, it's like, okay, we farm, we gank, nothing really 
nothing that changed that much. But Moscow 5 really changed the thing, so if they shake enough the people, they might win again. Well, final question for you before I let you get back to your uh, drinking and enjoying yourself or whatever it is you're getting up to. Um, ultimately, I, I think when competitors come away from a LAN event, there's usually one moment that really stays with them. And if you're like me, you'll probably play at lots of LANs and, and, and go to lots of LANs. And there'll be the one thing that you remember Intel Extreme Masters 6 for. What's it going to be? This event, particularly? Yeah. Um, I don't know. The, the, from that event, the loss versus, versus CLG when we had a free win. I'm sorry, it's a bad memory yeah. for you, bro. But thanks a lot for taking the time to talk to us. Enjoy the rest of uh, the spectating. Thanks. All the people out there at cadred.org, do stay tuned to the website where we're going to have more League of Legends coverage from here at the Intel Extreme Masters World Championship Finals.